What is occurring, everybody? It's Kaya here. Um, a few days ago, the chairperson of the local um, arrangement committee for the Soccer World Cup, which is going to be held in South Africa in 2010, used the K-word during a press conference. Now, for those of you watching this from around the world, and you have no idea what the K-word is, basically the K-word is or was is a derogatory word used or was used by white people in South Africa in order to demean them, to subhumanize them. Very much like the, the, the N-word in the United States of America. I passionately believe that the K-word, the word kefir, should never be used under any circumstances unless it is done to address the issue of, or the K-word basically, to talk about it. Now, the truth is, whether we like to admit this or not, if a white person was in the same position as Mr. Koza, and that person had used the K-word. And in such a public platform, that person would have been fired or relieved of their duties almost immediately. That I can show you. I can assure you. I don't have doubt a doubt about that. But because a black person said that, then it, it seems to be kind of okay. Now, in fact, I find it even more repulsive, even more offensive, that a black person, especially in, in his position, in a position of influence, could use that word and worse on another black person. Not to say that it should be used on, 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 on someone else. It's okay to use. I just find it incredibly offensive. So, considering the history of the word that anybody especially another black person has the audacity to use it on another black person. I don't care for the reason. This is what had happened. He was, Ivan Koza was asked about some report in a Sunday newspaper and he replied by saying to this black reporter, please sir, stop thinking like a kaffir. Wow. Since we believe in free speech and freedom of expression in this country and the freedom then the, freedom of the, then the freedom to use the K-word should not be limited to a certain group, but it should be extended to all groups. That freedom and that right to use it should be able to use that word. But then, as far as I'm concerned, I repeat, nobody should be able to use that word unless it is for some academic exercise. Since, since most of us agree that if a white person had used those words in such a platform, that person would have been out of a job. That white person would have no job. So this is my question. Is it not fair? Is it not fair then to say that Ivan Koza should be relieved of his duties because we all know that if he was a white person, if he was a white person, he would have been relieved of his duties. <laughs> I think I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> He's a powerful man. Anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> what surprised me about his attempt to, to defend himself was he said that the word, the K word, is used in the townships. I don't know what his township he's talking about because I haven't heard people use that word so freely like he claims. Unlike African Americans, we have never embraced the K word like the Americans have the N word which I believe is actually banned now, you will never find young black people in South Africa walking around, you know, like hip-hop guys, and say, yo, 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 what's up, my kefa? You will not find that. We have not embraced it and refused to embrace the word. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Maximum respect, everybody.